WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. <coughs> Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. We have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Russell 2000 up nearly 1%. It's up 15 points. The semis are up a quarter percent or seven bucks. Otherwise, everything else is trading to the downside. The Dow is off 266 to eight tenths. The S&P is off 25, six tenths. NASDAQ 164, a half a percent. Trannies are off about a quarter of a percent. That's only 40 points to the downside. Gold's off 30 bucks, one at six tenths. Silver getting hit in the shorts. It's down 81 cents, 2076 of the print there. Lights to be crude up 29 cents. Natural gas up four pennies. The 30-year Treasury trade out at 140.09. That's up 21 ticks. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. <clears throat> we begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand corner. You can see that there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. It's achieved the one to one level. Should we get a bullish reversal candle that would confirm a buy the D point? It's going to be tough to do that with the spot volatility where it's at, elevated levels, well above its 50 day exponential moving average. The NQ also has a A to B equals CD pattern. Its initial price projection to the one to one level would take us to about the 11 to 445 area. The low so far today has been uh, 11,693. U.S. dollar index having a stellar day, uh, mostly caused by the uh, cratering of the euro. But nonetheless, U.S. dollar index is going to take out its TD9 count top, or appears that it will. That would just simply require a close above 103.95. That suggests we're headed to the 109 area. Gold, almost back to its one to one A to B equals C D. That's at eighteen fourteen. We're trading at eighteen twenty one. That says that if we were to get a bullish reversal candle in it, not necessarily today, that that would give us a currently buy pattern. Silver is down below the one point six minute expansion of its C to D leg, so its next price target would be nineteen eighty nine. Light sweet crude is consolidating within the rising and falling trend line out there. So fairly narrow range out here. Next move to the upside could or should take us to about the 110 area. Natural gas, which did form a Rhodes momentum indicator top last Friday, took price back to support the bottom of its profile. Now price above the top of the profile. This would be day number two. Puts the uh, natural gas contract into a neutral position. And a 30-year Treasury finding resistance at the top of its profile. 141.06 got to 141.03. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.